Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Really interesting equation today. We have exponential equation 2 to the x equal to 3 to the x. And how can we solve this equation? On the first side, this equation is looks like EV1. We have 2, 3, not like a huge power. We have same same power, same exponent right here. But what about the solution? On the first side, this equation is one, but we cannot like on the first side tell that uh, the answer is x equal to 5, 10 or different numbers. So let's try to solve it. As well, if we have an exponent, if we have power, it's really good to take log from both of the side. Okay, log on the on the left hand side. Let's let's base of two. Let's work with base of two. We have two to the x equal to log base of two with three to the x. Okay, let's work with base of two. And right now we need to know log property. I hope everyone knows this. This x jump right here in the beginning, and this x jump right here in the beginning as well. So we have x times log. 2 base of 2 equal to log 3 base of 2 and of course x in the beginning. So I hope you understand this step. Just use log property. And right now it's really good because log 2 base of 2 equal to 1. This is like log log a base of a equal to 1. Doesn't matter if these numbers both are the same. We will have our 1 on the right hand side. Okay, what do you have as a result? We have that our x equal to x times log 3 base of 2. Okay, and how can we find our answer? Let's bring this on the left hand side. We have x minus x log 3 base of 2 equal to 0. And I hope you see right now that right here we have x and right here we have x. So we can easily factor it as a common. So we have 1 minus log 3 base of 2 equal to 0. And I hope you see right now that we have product equal to zero, then this element equal to zero, but this element cannot be equal to zero because this is a constant which is not equal to zero, okay? And this one need to be equal to zero. So x equal to zero will be our solution. And let's check this solution real quick. What do we have as a result? We have two to the zeros equal to three to the zeros. One equal to one. So our root is good for us. And we finally find our answer x equal to zero. This is our, our solution. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. It will be really nice to read it. And of course, write any comment. It really helps me to improve my videos and put your likes. It inspires me a lot and it helps me a lot to make new content. Thank you and have a great day.